Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is finding the arc length, the, the length along a curve. And so what we have, the curve is y equals x squared over 2 minus natural log of x over 4 and in domain, let me move my hair, whoosh, it's 2 to 4. And that's the domain, not the range. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try to do this one on your own. All right. First, you have to know what the formula is. You can't use a regular integral because a regular integral just finds the area underneath the curve. You're not looking for that. You're looking for the length. And so this is the formula with respect to x because this is in terms of x. If it was in terms of y, you'd have to use a different formula. Looks relatively the same. It's just the derivative is going to be different. So this is going to be dy dx squared with respect to x. So a, b are your endpoints. 1 plus dy dx, and the whole thing's being squared, and this whole thing's being square rooted, dx, which is a variation from the Pythagorean theorem. to find length. So what you want to do is you want to first start by finding this. You want to find the derivative. So you take the derivative of this, let me put it on the side here so you have y prime equals, the derivative of x squared is just a 2x minus the natural log of x, the derivative of that is just 1 over x. So that would be um, 1 over 4x. The 2's cancel out. You multiply this fraction, the top and the bottom, by 4x, so then you can smash them together. So y prime equals 4x squared minus 1 over 4x. Now you take this and plug it into here. So that's, I'm going to ignore the integral for now because I'm going to try to simplify this as much as possible and then I'm just going to plug this whole thing back in. So I have 1 plus 4x squared minus 1 over 4x and that whole thing is being squared. So when I'm squaring a fraction, I square the numerator and I square the denominator. So that's going to become 16x to the fourth minus, and this is what's called a perfect square. So what you can do <clears throat> is take this, multiply these two, and then double it, which is going to give you 8x squared. Square of this gives you a plus 1 over 16x squared plus 1 and you're square rooting the whole thing. What you want to try to do here, because integrals are rather difficult, you want to see if you can manipulate this so that the integral gets pretty easy. So you just want to keep on simplifying this as much as possible. So I'm going to add these two guys together. To do that I have to find a common denominator. I have 16x squared, and whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. And see that? Now I have 16x squared. This becomes 16x to the fourth plus 8x squared plus 1 over 16x squared. That makes things really easy. You know why? Because this is what's called a perfect square. But instead of a, a minus, I'm going to have a plus. So it's going to be 4x squared plus 1 
and that whole thing's being squared, 16x squared in the denominator. See that? Now you can square root both the numerator and the denominator. When you do that, that's going to give you 4x squared plus 1 over 4x. You see that? I just removed the square root because it just simplified. Now let me simplify this further so it makes it easier to integrate it. I'm going to just split up this fraction. To split up the fraction, you just break it apart. The numerator stays the same, so it's 4x squared over 4x, which is just x, plus 1 over 4x. So this goes here. Now it's going to be from 2 to 4. This is x plus 1 over 4x with respect to x. Then you integrate each of these. So this is going to be x squared over 2 plus this is going to be 1 fourth natural log of x. And this whole thing is going to be from 2 to 4. So let me erase some of this. I'm going to erase this as well because we're not going to have any need for it. And let me just write this whole thing out. So first off, you plug in 4. So this is 4 squared which is 16 over 2 plus 1 fourth natural log 4 minus, and it's going to be this whole thing minus. So this is going to be minus 4 over 2 minus 1 fourth natural log 2. Now I'm going to erase this. Sixteen over two minus four over two gives me twelve over two, which is a six. Then these right here, since they're unlike terms, these are unlike terms right here. The only things that are alike are the constants. Then I'm just going to drop these down. So this is plus 1 fourth natural log of 4 minus 1 fourth natural log of 2. Actually, using properties of logarithmic functions, I can take this and simplify it. So this is 6 plus 1 fourth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor, so that's natural log of 4 minus natural log of 2. Now I can simplify this further. When I'm subtracting natural, when I'm subtracting logarithms, you can divide the numbers, what's inside. So then it will become 6 plus 1 fourth natural log of 2 because 4 divided by 2 and that's going to give me my 2 and this is your final answer all simplified now if you want an approximation just type down your calculator and that's it